Welcome back to our Inside the Issue special. We're going back to the question that is unfolding tonight of the border wall and the shutdown that is accompanying the debate over that wall. All eyes stand on Congress is not expected to vote on a budget deal tonight. And as a result, it does look like the government will shut down partly. Dan Bongino is a former Secret Service agent, the author of Spygate, the attempted sabotage of Donald J. Trump. And he joins us tonight. Dan, thanks very much for coming on. This is one of the stories that's happening even as we're watching right now. But where do you think this goes? Well, I think what's going to happen is there's going to have to be some safe uh, face saving measure on the left. So I think what you'll see is, is, is Trump will eventually get his money or some significant portion of it, Tucker. But it'll be for yes. a it'll be the euphemism game. Um, it'll be for slats or uh, poles or a fence or something like that. But the bottom line is, as long as it provides a deterrent to the illegal flow of uh, illegal immigrants into the country, I think both sides can then mark it up as a success. Why does nobody ask the obvious question, which is what's the problem with the wall? I mean, nobody, you know, it's too expensive and doesn't work. Nobody believes that. Why does nobody press the left on? Like, why, why are you against this? Yes, I had, you know, last night I had this debate with Austin Goolsby, who's a nice guy. But I said to him, just a simple question. If you were doing this and wanted to cross the border and enter the United States illegally, Tucker, do you go where yes. there's a 20 foot wall or do you go where you can just walk in? And, and, and when I said, they, they were like astonished by the question. Like, you know, I never really thought of that. You know, listen, the, the, the Democrats are really good, Tucker, at focus group tests and talking points. And one of the things they do is they say, well, a wall won't stop illegal immigration. It's not designed to stop it. It's designed to deter it. We don't have a military to stop wars. We have it to deter wars. You know, you don't put a, an alarm system in your house to stop every single burglary ever. You do it to deter it. Illegal immigration is a crime. It carries with it severe penalties. We have narco trafficking, sex trafficking. When I was in the Secret Service, counterfeit money brought in from South America. The right. potential for terrorism. And it also, Tucker, one more thing. It's not a knock on legal immigration. Building the fence and or the wall to deter illegal immigration is just meant to create an incentive to enter the country the right way. This is right. not a That's tough right. thing to figure out. I mean, if you're in charge of running a country, if you've been elected to run a country, as our members of Congress have, shouldn't your bottom line gut instinct be to protect the country? Tucker, how do you even define a country as an independent, sovereign nation without borders? I mean, it's a serious question for I know we have a lot yeah, of liberals who watch the network. Great. You know, of course, you're always welcome. But I, I, I just think about that for a second. What is a country if it doesn't have definable borders that are enforceable? What does the word country even mean to you? Well, I'll tell you what you do have. You have a landmass then. You don't have a country. Borders are not meant to be suggestions. They're meant to be definable and enforceable. And the reason you build a wall is not to stop and you're not going to stop it. What you are going to do is deter it. But you do not have a country without borders. It does. That seems like an elemental fact. That's what a nation state well, is. Dan Bongino, think. thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Nice, Tucker. Always good to talk to you. Merry Christmas, buddy. Well, we want to end tonight's special with a congratulations to one of our smartest producers and one of our favorite people. Alex Pfeiffer works on this show. He's a reporter here. He breaks a lot of the stories you see, puts together a lot of the segments that make this show we think worth, worth watching. Tonight, Alex Pfeiffer proposed to his girlfriend, Jolie Friedman, who is the kind of person, if you had a, you know, a son that age, you want your son to marry her. She's that great. And thankfully, she said yes. We're for marriage on the show, and particularly for the marriage of Alex Pfeiffer and Jolie Friedman. Congratulations. It's wonderful.